And welcome back to my channel. I'm going to continue with Python on Data Camp. And I believe we're starting methods today. So again, I'm not going to watch the video. Um, I think that the video is going to do a better explanation of, of what's a method versus what's a function. I believe the difference is, so a function is a block of code that you want that you want to call at specific moments. A method, I think, in Python is meant to be a function that's inside a class. Uh, for example, this says strings come with a bunch of methods. So there's a string class. So in the string class, there's a bunch of methods. Oh, you do help str. Help on class string in module built-ins. So string is a class, and so the functions inside the class are called methods. Okay, and so it looks like we're only going to use upper and count. All right, so here's count. Oh, so s.count. So s is their variable of type string. Our variable is called place, and then we're going to have a variable place up. And the arguments it takes or parameters, I don't remember. Sub is a substring. Yeah, I think I'm confusing myself. Anyway, there's a start and an end. And then let's look at upper. Okay, so we're going to create a variable called place up. And it equals place dot upper. Now we need to print out both. So I'm assuming we're meant to print them on different lines. And then we're going to print place dot count. And then you do your open parentheses. This is the substring. Oh, the substring we are counting. Is O, right? And then we don't need a start and an end because we're just counting O's in the entire uh, variable. Let's try it. Oh, look, okay, pool house, pool house uppercase, and then three O's. Looks right. Submit. Nice. Notice from the printouts that upper, the upper method does not change the object it is called on. This will be different for lists in the next ex exercise. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so it looks like areas, so this list, has a method called index. And index will return the index of the first element that matches input. So let's see if I understand this. We want to print out, so I'll just do my print statement. And then in there, I want, so I think we're gonna do areas.index because index is a method on the list class and areas is a list type variable. Okay, and then what we're sending in is 20.0 because that's the element that we're wanting to find the index of, or the first index. All right, um, and then print out how often, okay, so, how many times 9.5 appears is going to be count. So I'm going to do print again because we're printing it out and then count. Oops. All right. We are doing areas.count because count is, oops, count is a method on the list class. And what we're counting. Oops. Yeah, 9.50. And 
That should return one. Zero, one, two. So yeah, I printed the index two and the count of one. So, okay, since I ran that, let's say I want to show that it returns only the first index. And then let's say I want to show that this now will say two. So now both of these numbers are going to say two. And, okay, like, I'm not going to keep messing with this. What if I say submit? No. You don't have to change or remove. Yeah. Okay. I want to show if I put a 20.0 here that this first number will change to zero. So it'll be zero two. Okay. Now I can take this and put this back to its starting place, which I assume this arrow would do. This is 2, 1. We submit. Nice. These were examples of the list methods that did not change the list they were called on. Yeah, they didn't change anything. They were just returning answers. Okay, these are list methods that make changes. Most list methods will change the list they're called on. Some examples. Append adds an element to the list. It'll add it to the end. Remove removes the first element that matches the input. And reverse will reverse the order of the elements. Okay, so we are supposed to be adding the size of the pool house and the garage, which they give us over here, and they say to put those in the, the order that they specified. So what we're going to do is put areas.append. And we're going to do 24.5. And then we'll do another areas.append. And we'll do 15.45. Right, now we just want to print areas. And then we're going to reverse the order. So we say areas dot reverse. And I'm pretty sure if we look up the reverse function with help, that it will say um, it doesn't take any parameters or arguments, whatever. And then we're just going to print areas. And I'm pretty sure you could have done print and st instead of line 12, you could have just done print areas dot reverse in, in these parentheses. All right, so we're printing areas and then we're printing areas. So this one should be the same as what they declared. And then we added our two at the end. And then this should be exactly backwards. Great. Press enter to continue. Okay, I'm going to stop on packages just because they did a video, then it's worth stopping. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this or this helped you in some way. Uh, thank you for watching. And I will be back soon.